was this one. So I started looking, rather than practicing eight hours a day doing scales and stuff like that, I was done with that. And I remember like reading in magazines, like many of my favorite guitar players had said, well, it's all been done on the guitar. And I thought, well, has it? Maybe, I don't know. Um, I just de started deconstructing the idea of the instrument rather than here are the chord shapes and here's the accompanying notes and going like, it's a piece of wood. And there's six wires, there's a few electronics, and you can tap on them or move them around in different ways that create sounds. If you can make sounds, you can shape those sounds into songs by just repeating them. And so this is an Allen wrench, and an Allen wrench, what it's used for is to like unlock these little string things so you can change the strings. And I was changing my strings at rage rehearsal one day, and the band came in, and uh, Brad sat down with the kid, and we were sort of getting ready, and then I played this, and two and a half minutes later, collectively, we had written this song. <laughs> Eddie Van Halen guitar. It was cool because it had one, only one pickup and only one knob, which was volume. That was pretty badass. I didn't have that guitar. I had this one with some hippos on it and uh, it had a, like a switch and stuff. And at the time, my, my roommate who was a lovely dude, but he hated the music that I loved. He was a fan of like opera and classical music, and he couldn't stand that I was always jamming like Grim Reaper songs, you know, in the room next door. So one day, the first time I ever fiddled around with the toggle switch, I. I remember exactly what I played. I'll play it for you now, and then I'll tell you his reaction to what I played. So this was it. So I play that, and he comes storming in to my room, and he goes, Did you get a fucking keyboard too, man? <laughs> I can hear like La Boheme drifting in from his room over there. And, but when he said that, I thought, well, he's really angry now, but did my guitar just sound like a keyboard to you? And that was a path to, uh, to, to, to bigger and better things. And that's when um, I, I knew that if I was gonna be the DJ in Rage Against the Machine, one thing if you're a DJ you have to know how to do is scratch. So I, uh, I listened to a lot of Run DMC and Public Enemy records, and, and, and I listened to what the uh, I listened to what the DJs were doing in between the songs and tried to approximate it. Yeah. 